Namaskar. Today we will discuss on the research and publication ethics. All of you know that what is the research matrix. So we have given this first structure. What is the objective? What is the introduction? That impact factors of the journals as per journal citation report, SINP, SJR, IPP, site score, then matrix of H index, G index, I10 index, and ultra matrix. And in summary, so all of you know that the how much important for any faculty members is a journal citation report because, because the research metrics are quantifying. So all of you know the quantitative tools used to help assess the quality and impact of research outputs. Metrics are available for the use at the journal article and even the researchers level. However, any one matrix only tells you a part of the story and each metric also has its limitation. Therefore, a single metric should never be considered in isolation. That is the most important part of us. So for a long time, the only tool for assessing journal performance was the impact factor. More on that, it is moment now, there are a range of different research metrics available from the impact factor to ultra metrics, H index and more and more things. So that's we have to consider of this. So the usage of metrics to promote the journals, how to use this metric to monitor a particular journal, examples of Taylor and Francis, if you go to the sites, you will be able to find out all these resources. So I'll just not go on to this of this matrix general introduction because these general introductions are all available in you know, online mode. So we'll not go. So, but with this topic and this going through this unit, you will be able to learn us, will be able to know that to understand a journal standing and quality and its implication. To find the different indexing parameters, to know about the impact factors of a journal as per journal citation report, to know about the significance of SNIP, SJR, IPP, site code in regard to research metrics, to know the different metrics that is also research H index, G index, I10 index, ultra metrics and integration in research. So databases are impact factors, journals as a part journal citation report or SNP it may be know that the impact factor by publishing more high quality, highly cited articles. So you might be discharging how cited articles are extensively by your reader. So research metrics are sometimes controversial, especially in the popular usage, they become proxies for multi-dimensional concept such as a research quality impact. So impact factor, what is it is? The impact factor is a measure of frequency with which the average article in a journal has been cited in a particular year. And how impact factor is calculated? The calculation is based on two year period and improves, involves dividing the number of times the articles are cited by the number of articles that is enables, citable. So, journal citation report, journal citation report JCR, we also know that JCR is a called the journal citation report provides ranking for journals in areas of sciences, technologies and social sciences. Indexing parameter to understand the journals standing in the quality, there are certain parameters used to decide that those are called indexing parameters. What is the impact factor? Is the measure of the number of citation of a particular article in a particular year. How to calculate the impact factor? The first important aspects that journal should be have been publishing. D is a 
number of articles indexes in the year 2018 and 19 n is a, a number of citation d in that particular year 2020 so n by d is the impact factor of the year 2020 so these kind of things the SNI, SINP that is a source normalized impact per paper source normalized impact per paper normalizes its sources to allow for cross-disciplinary comparison in practice this means that citation from a publication with a long references list has a lower value SNP, SNIP is only considered citation to specific content types of articles, reviews and conference papers and does not count citation from publications that Scopus classifies as a non-citing resources sources. So these include the trade of journalists and many arts and humanities titles. So SGR, what is SGR? It's a Saimago journal rank. The SGR aims to capture the effect of subject field, quality and reputation of a journal on a citation. It calculates the prestige of a journal by considering the value of a sources that cite it or rather than counting of all continuous equally. So each citation received by a journal is assigned weight based on the SGR and the citing surface. So it is citation from a journal with high SGR's value and worth of journals in SGR value. The difference between the site score and impact factor or the indicators. So that is the site score is based on the Scopus database rather than wave of science. This means the number of citation and general coverage of a certain subject areas is notable higher. So these are the things we have to consider of this one minute, five years impact factor. I will go back, come to this one, single binded journals and this quality and what is the impact, site score, site covers, SIRP, the source normalized impact paper publication calculated as the number of citation, then self citation 0%, the percentage of self citation of a source calculated as the premises of all citation given in the permanent present year. So this self citation is also another important problem of this. So SGR, your journals rank calculation is as with the SNIP and site score, SGR is calculated using the Scopus data, journals metrics, usage speed and acceptance rate. As explained above, citations are not the only way to monitor the performance of a desired journal. What does it measure? A journal usage is the number of times of articles are viewed, downloaded gives a quick impression of the journal size and research. So how can we access our journal usage data? We can easily access the usage of general data in a metrics tab. Example, Stella and Francis has given a speed metrics. The different journals has got a different metrics and they give us all the metrics sources. You can go and find out and then can use this metrics. What is the psi value? Psi value is the LCVR's research by benchmarking software which is based on the Scopus data. So everyone has becoming a, introduced a new search engine and they based on data they have made a new research metrics. So we have to weigh on that which metrics we should go, which metrics we should not go. That's off to the researchers. So a free download software is available. Research metrics is a Depending on the database's coverage and so metrics should be drawn from the source and you have to drawn from the source and whenever the people and the data should be available on the site aid. So you should not consider from the tertiary documents, you should consider from the source. That's the most important. So using factors of the score. So metrics, indexes and DTSs. So you can factor, what is you can factor citation tracking. So even factor score similar to that of the impact factor of the score, where is the reference to a scholar and measures the number of time and researcher speed and reading the journal. So the age index is a short for the his index and which was introduced by the Jogers E. Hirsch, uh, 
2005 as a way of quantity the productivity and impact of an individual author similar to how the impact factor is how to be used measure a journal of an author or a scientific field so h index becomes another measures of a relative impact of a scientific publication so what is the i mean if n number of years so then m index is equal to h by n h being the h index of an author then becomes g index g index is a variant of h index g index takes into account the increases in the citation of a most of the cited paper as well to calculate a g index g is the highest rank and the top of this g paper has at least g2 citations of i10 indexes refers to this number of articles that are cited and the 10 letter at least 10 times so h5 index is of an article refers to the number of citation of a number of published articles in 5 years for example h5 index is 4 that means that 5 years four articles published have been cited at least four times each so scientific journal rank that journal this is scientific measure of a scholarly journals that takes into account the number of citations and the quality of a journals in which the citations are made sgr is a numeric value that depicts the number of weighted citations and received in a particular year with the previous 3 years so these are the things we have to know that how we should calculate of this how is the altmetric or attention to the score calculated altmetric monitors the each online mentions in a piece of a research and weighs the measurement towards best or values or scores and authors a mention a mention in an international newspapers contribute to a higher score than a tweet about the research for examples the altmetric attention score is presented within a colorful donut each color indicates in a different sources of a online altmetric attention ranging from the traditional media outlets to social media blogs online references managers reference managers academic forums parameters policy documents open access open the syllabus project and more or more a strong automatic score will feature both a high number of center and wide range of colors in a document so discover in different ways you can find that automates head of making this research what is h index h index at all the basic index h index an author level research matrix and first introduced in the h index and the basic h index citation is you know that everyone the results for giving a project they want to know what is your h index so results can be skewed in by self citation results are not comparable across the disciplines results can, can can't compare between the researchers so these are the things we have to think about the h index and this is in so difference with the journal impact factor the main differences between the indicators provided by the cwts journal indications in a particular of in, in a particular journals or informal factors and can be uh, summarized as follows based on the scopus ipp and snap by wave of science ip the correction for field differences versus no correction for field differences ipp and igls three years of cited publication ipp and snip versus two years of content uh, cited publication in jif journal impact factor citation from the selected sources and selected documents types of only ipp and snap versus calculation citation from all sources and documents types so citations to selected documents typically types only ipp snap citation in documents so limitation of the research matrix disciplinary differences scope of coverage and accuracy of the sources data so there are a lot of limitationary limitations you can find in the research matrix and this limitations and coverage in a different ways and sequences a geographical region 
all disciplines, citation tracking databases, I mean, you can factor uh, yeah, English languages, different types of languages because the all citation cannot come in other languages. In the citation comes only in the Indian in only English languages. So if the article are published in different other Indian languages or in other countries in different languages, the citation does not cover of those areas. So that does not so that's not so that means there is a huge different uh, limitation in the scope uh, in the citation databases because people only uh, assess the person who will write anything in English languages, but citation does not cover only the uh, cover only the English languages, not other. Some of the some translation is given, but that's not more in this citation databases. So we have to use that the citation databases is not a sacrosanct things to assess any research or any research metrics. So that because in there are different resources which are available in different languages, and we can get in those references and we can see this of this so the time and size all this normalization all this value of these indexes it has to be expected and therefore the models of these differences of you know, we have to find out the sacrosanctity so in the summary so i should say that research publication of this definition you should be know that this course materials provides an overview of a summary using the metrics and other information about your research and scholarship to tell the story of your scholarly impact. Research in the sciences and humanities will continue to develop in the way it is conducted and organized, as well as in the way it is, it is embedded in the society. So this is in turn will lead to evolving views on good research practices from time to time. So standards for good research practices and the related duties of care must be reviewed and code of updating some areas of research practices and subject to change for example the growing of importance of the way the data is used managed and developed uh, area are open sciences so it is to be expected that the advances will require the things so this research metrics are quantitative and tools used to help assess and quality and impact of the research output metrics are available for use of the journal articles even the researcher levels however any one metric only tells a part of the story and each matrix all has a limitation so therefore single metric should not be considered in isolation for a long time the only tool for assessing the journal performance was the journal impact factor so now there are a range of differences of the ultrametrics H index more about this. So which research metrics is more important we should be very easy. So I think the, with this concept I, end, I want to end here and to tell the learner you be very very careful while you are using the research metrics for your research activities or for your academic achievement to show the things and all academic achievement you should measure. So these kind of things to be done. Thank you. Thank you very much for this.